For generations, there's been certain ways to manage economic crises, and COVID-19 changed all of that. Last year, the doctrine of austerity fell to the wayside around the world, and in the new economic approach, fiscal expansion took over from monetary policy. Governments channeled cash directly to households and businesses, running up record budget deficits, and central banks largely played a secondary and supportive role. Even in historically fiscally conservative Germany, policymakers scrapped a rule requiring balanced budgets. The IMF said that the biggest risk to the recovery was that governments would curtail their spending too soon. And in the US, the sentiment shifted away from that of the financial crisis. Clearly, no Americans lost their jobs through any fault of their own, and that helped clear the way for a big fiscal response. With interest rates at historic lows, the smartest thing we can do is act big. In the long run, I believe the benefits will far outweigh the costs. President Biden's team has fully embraced a new economic approach. It leans on proposals for higher taxes on the rich, more spending to benefit the poor, and policies that have been largely out of favor since the 1970s. While the response has pulled the economy out of its deepest slump on record, we have yet to grapple with theoretical problems posed by surging growth. And obviously, inflation concerns are fueling a heated debate. Some economists are more worried than others. The highest inflation numbers are just ahead of us. I do think, though, that ultimately it's going to be more temporary. I was on the worried side about inflation, and it's all moved much faster, much sooner than I had uh, than I had predicted, and I think that has to make us nervous going forward. Other economists also say that we already had a generation of macroeconomic policy that was dominated by fears of doing too much. And now the economic attitude seemed to have broken out of that mindset. Lessons have been learned about how to get out of a downturn, and now we have to talk about managing and sustaining 